Welcome to Eucanic. Today we're going to go over the process of checking your radiator fluid, um, adding radiator fluid. So this is a 2012 Honda Sonata. We happen to have, there's two options. Well number one, if your temperature gauge is going warmer than normal, um, or you've got some sensors going on, um, you don't want to run your engine over 200, 200 degrees. Uh, anything hotter than that, you can really severe engine damage. Um, you should essentially have sensors going off by that time and you should shut your vehicle down and then get out and take a look at it before you continue to run it. Cause possible issues could be that you just low on coolant, could be that the water pump has gone bad, you know, but number one, we're going to start with checking our coolant levels, right? So this is an overflow and on this overflow, we can see that it has some markings right here, okay? Now we're just right at the low. We're still in operating range, but we're right at the low. So we would opt to add some up to this full line, right? Now this we don't have to worry about so much because it's not pressurized here. So you can add water to this even while the engine is hot. But otherwise, if it's any type of pressurized over, overflow, you do not want to remove this cap until your engine is cool, right? But so we would go ahead and get some coolant and fill it up to this full level. And then we'd put the cap back on and then we would go ahead and start it and run our car to see how it is. Say you go ahead and change, um, you've drained the coolant for whatever reason, want to change it all out. If you've gone ahead and drained out all the coolant for whatever reason, because you replaced the radiator or water pump or so forth, this engine happens to have a cap right here. And you can remove this cap. This cap you never want to remove when the engine is hot. It even gives us a great sign here. Never remove when it's hot. But if the engine is cool, you can you gotta push down on it, generally, twist it like a safety cap. All right, and then we pop it off and we see what the, the coolant level is here. We can see this coolant level happens to be right at the top, perfect in operating level, right? So if we want to add a little bit more to the, um, the reservoir, that's where we would add some extra coolant. Other than that, it's the basic things you want to make sure that you have the proper level of engine coolant. If your temperature sensors start to go off or it's running more warmer than normal, the middle of the gauge. That is how you check your engine coolant level and add coolant to your vehicle of a 2012 Hyundai Sonata.